Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. To all you wonderful viewers and supporters, I want to thank you so very much for coming by and watching this video, liking it, commenting, subscribing, and sharing all what you do. I thank you so very much. Now today we are going to be making some beef stew. I grew up in Jamaica calling this stew beef. My husband eventually got me to stop saying that and saying beef stew like, you know, they do here, but I grew up calling this stew beef. Anyway, I have two pounds of meat here. They come like this, I got from, from Whole Foods. No, they're not paying me to say that. It just was going on. I was shopping there a lot because of the Amazon affiliation and the Prime membership. Anyway, so this is it. It's an all-natural black Angus beef stew. So I have two of these. Let's cut this thing open. And we are going to be making, because I do have a video on here, I believe, of, um, with beef stew. We are going to be making this um, Instapot style. I'm using my Instapot today. So let me see the size of these pieces. Mm. Okay, pretty nice. Pretty right size, you see? Some are a little thicker than others. Pretty nice sizes, so perfect. Ooh, let's get this bloody water out of here. Get this out first. One more time. Skip my for the lemon. One more game, as I always say to my young baby. One more game, one more game. Okay, this piece of extra fat here can go. We're gonna move over soon. Okay, so guys, I'm going to drain this just a little bit more because I don't want too much liquid in there when I get started to cook it. Maybe I can use a paper towel and help me. Okay. This is a lot better. All right, so guys, I'm gonna season this up, but let me show you some of the ingredients we need for this. Um, I have beef broth, um, onions. I'm actually gonna use both of these. Bell peppers, green and red bell pepper. I have some carrots. 
green onions, some fresh thyme. And um, here, are the white uh, regular potato that you put in beef stew. I almost say stew beef. I only have like three small ones. Really? But then I have these white sweet potatoes that I am in so in love with. Ooh, the camera is a mess. I'm so in love with these. I believe I got them from not Whole Foods, but from Fresh. Water from Amazon also. I love those things. So I'm going to add some of those also. So I'm also going to add a pinch of flour to the meat. So let me grab that. Um, other ingredients will be this um, Maggie seasoning here I got from Amazon also and some Worcestershire sauce. I also have a can of roasted tomatoes, canned tomatoes that will go in there. I don't have any um, tomato paste. I know you guys like to use tomato paste in your um, stews. I will tell you when to go ahead and add that, but I won't be using any today. So let's just season this meat up, okay? And to season up the meat, let's get up here. None of that, none of that, none of that. Let's get a little salt in here. Oh, come on. I'm scared to get too much in there, but I'm... Okay, let's get a pinch of salt in there. Let's get a little black pepper in here. Well done a little. Let's get a lot of black pepper in here. Oh God, the sneeze is coming, Lord Jesus. Oh, it didn't even, I step away and it didn't even come. Let's add some garlic powder. Let's add a little bit of seasoning salt. Now, this is a little bit for real. And of course, a little paprika, smoked paprika is all I use. Whew, okay, my sneeze was coming again, but it changed his mind again. Okay. Now this, I don't like, I don't want to use too much of it. It gives food a good flavor, but you can overpower your food if you put too much of it in there. But if you shop on Amazon, give it a try. It is amazing. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I just realized something stupid I did. Oh my goodness. I was not supposed to put the, those liquids on there right now. But you know what? Is what it is, so I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna have to add the flour into the um thing because I wanted to put it on these. Maybe I still can Let's see. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna pause and move up, move, move us over to the um, the slow cooker. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So my slow cooker is plugged in, but it's not on yet. So I'm gonna press manual, and I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna put about a. That's probably about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. I know you can't see in there real well, so let's bring it back down this way. I thought my my um I thought my um thingy here was taller than that. I guess I need another one. So I will see you back when this is um 
heat it up and we're ready to go. In the meantime, I'm going to start prepping to cut up all those vegetables. See you soon. Okay, guys, my olive oil is heating up. It's heated up. I can smell it. So I'm going to go ahead add the meat in for that sizzle. Okay, now to the meat. Now I'm going to add a little flour. This is going to thicken it up on later down the road. You don't have to worry about thickening it up again. Okay, I'm gonna leave this like this for a little bit and I'll come back and then I'm gonna add a little butter and garlic powder. So see you in a bit, okay? Okay guys, so it was 35 minutes, it was 32 minutes, so it's been like this for about five minutes. I haven't added anything yet. I'm going to add this half a stick of butter. And I said garlic powder, I meant minced garlic. minced garlic then here's my can of um fire roasted tomatoes just open put that in there and just a little juice left over from the pan that i season it in nothing else i stir this all in there really well really really well now i'm gonna cover this put the lid on seal it for the next 27 minutes that's on here and then after that we'll come back and add the um the vegetables okay so i'll see you back in 27 minutes so guys the time is up i'm just letting the pressure out now um i'll come back once it's time to open it up and see what's going on okay Okay, so I'm back. Let me show you all of my vegetables. Here is the potatoes. It's the both the regular potato and the white sweet potato that I'm so in love with. My carrots, onions, bell peppers, and green onions over there. Now, basically, this is a one-pot dish, hence all this vegetable right here. Guys, I am trying to cut down on rice. And those white sweet potatoes and sweet potatoes are a godsend for me. So let's take this off and let's take a peek a peek in here nice I'm gonna taste before we do anything see can you see okay there we go let me taste this before I do anything Okay. I, need, I didn't put any spice on it, so I'm gonna put a dash of my, you know what I'm doing. Of course, you can use um, cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes, but this is my go-to powder, spicy thingy. And because of the um, because of the can of um, fire roasted tomatoes that I put in there. And knowing my daughter and the acidity of that, I'm going to add just a pinch of this in there. Optional, of course. Ooh, that spoon is. So you're just enough to balance the acidity from the tomato. So there we go. Now let me get all this goodness in here. Yes, my hands just washed. 
the things I hear people comment on about people's home cooking on YouTube is just uh, yeah let's get it all in there So now it's time to add some chicken broth so this stuff can have some liquid to cook in. I mean beef broth. And I season the meat with salt because I buy unsalted, always unsalted. So I can I can base my salt when I cook. So One cup. With all these vegetables, I need more. Two cups. I'm gonna stir this up and see what we have here. Okay, we're good because I don't want I don't want my stuff to be. You know, add some flour so I could have some thick gravy. I don't want to keep that. Plus, the steam will help cook what's on the top. So there we go guys, looking lovely. So I'm going to cover this back up. Yeah, and this time I'm going to choose the meat stew. The meat stew option. But first I have to turn this, I forgot. Then choose the meat stew option. The meat stew option is 75 minutes. I don't need all of that. So I can... And I did it this way because of my vegetables. You know, I have told you guys I don't like my vegetables um, mushy. Plus my potatoes, I don't want them to become mashed potatoes. And I wanted to make sure, at the same time, I wanted to make sure my meat was cooked. But you could always do the, the meat stew option, which is an hour and 15 minutes. It's like slow cooking it. So that's what I'm doing. And we're going to cook this for 30 more minutes. It's on now. And I'll see you back then, okay? Okay guys, so I had set it for 30 minutes. I decided to stop it at 20 and we're going to check. Take a look at this beef stew guys. Ooh wee baby. I'm trying to make sure you can see in there good, see? Don't want my potatoes all smushed up. See, I'm as I'm turning it, they're breaking apart, and that's what see, that's what I don't want. Okay, so I'm gonna taste a little bit of this. Oh my gosh, that is so full of flavor. awesome but here is what I really want to do guys I want to grab one of the a piece of the meat where is the camera my phone is a mess again so I grab a piece of the meat and I wanted to show you that see oh father Jesus yes mmm Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all. Woo. I'm ready to just sit down and enjoy. Uh huh. This is how you do it. Yes, yes. I'm no singer. But this is how you cook it. Mmm. Uh -huh. Just get into this goodness here. Let's bring it back over 
here. Let me get this piece back up here. some of my white potatoes mm -hmm. look here y'all you don't need nothing more than this look here this is dinner mm -hmm. one pot beef stews instapot style guys I'm trying to get this in the camera I don't know what it is Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the subscribe, like, comment, and share. Again, from my kitchen to yours, God bless you. I thank you for your support. Enjoy. Bye.